Hello and welcome to Two's News. So our old studio burned up. Here's a clip. Inferno. So here we are. Uh, the show might look a little different from now on, but that's okay. We're adapting. Everything's fine. Uh, speaking of fire, on uh, Saturday, it was July 4th. Mm. I've never been much a fan of fireworks, but they're okay. Uh, here's a video of the fireworks in my small town America. Yeah, it's lightning too. I knew it. In honor of 4th of July, I watched Hamilton with my family on Disney Plus. Sponsored by Disney Plus. So that was cool. I'd never listened to the musical all the way through in one sitting. So that was, it was nice to do and it was nice to see everything on stage and how that all lined up with what was going on in the music. It really brought everything together, just like a musical should do. At about 10 minutes in, my mother realized that the musical was just all songs and this disappointed her a little. Uh, mostly just because we're all hard of hearing and there were no subtitles. Seriously, Disney Plus, get your act together. I also noticed that they took out some of the language to keep it PG-13, which, okay. Though, of course, this is not the first time Disney took some liberties with its stories to make them more kid-friendly. It is still rather impressive to me how the actors in this musical were able to sing and dance at the same time. They are very skilled. I also thought I'd do a little patriotic reading as well this weekend. So I got this book, You Never Forget Your First by Alexis Ko from my local library. Apparently this is one of the only female written histories, autobiographies of George Washington for adults. So that's pretty cool. She also writes in a very digestible way. The book was only about 200 pages, so it was rather easy to read. Overall, a pretty good book. I mean, you can tell, and she says this herself, that she's leaving a lot of stuff out in order to make it a shorter read, but it is very nice and very good at producing a modern general picture of George Washington. And it is rather modern. Co does not do anything to try to whitewash George Washington. She speaks in length about how he owned slaves and she gives their names and all this backstory about them, which is pretty neat for her to do that. And this whole chapter in history is very weird because we're all told that like, oh, he freed his slaves when he died. Wasn't that so good? But it's actually more complicated than that. I mean, he could have freed them when he was alive. Other founding fathers did this. And he never really treated them like people. He was like, I mean, he, he treated them like slaves. He like told them what to do and then they had to do it. He split families up and they never saw each other again. But it, it seemed more like he was doing it just because to, he wanted to make his legacy seem good instead of really doing it out of kindness of his heart, which really sucks because it's like he knew that he was doing something bad. He knew he was doing something that was abominable, but he still did it anyway because it helped him financially, which is just really gross. And then it's weird to look back at Hamilton and be like, oh, wow, look at these people. They are really cool and they are rapping on stage and dancing and I want to be like them because they really sucked in a lot of ways. And Lin-Manuel Miranda himself, he knows this, he said this in a recent Wired video where all the cast got together and answered questions, but it still, it still makes you feel weird, especially in the midst of this whole era of Black Lives Matter. Because yes, we should get rid of racist statues and Jefferson Davis Memorial Day and Confederate Heroes Day, but what about statues of George Washington? Because yes, he did some cool things, but he was also super awful to a whole race of people, actually more than one race of people, because he was also uh, super mean to the Native Americans and killed them and stuff. Oh wow, okay. So we're gonna put up a statue of this guy and say, look at him, he's so cool. It's just, but he was also like the first president and did some cool things, so it's a very tricky situation. And personally, I would be like, oh, okay, I don't really care. Statues don't really have that much of a hold on me. And I'd be like, okay, you can just tear them down. But I know that I'm not a very smart person and there's probably something, an argument that I'm not thinking about. And also patriotism and nationalism is a very weird thing. So people are not going to agree with me uh, moving forward as we have this conversation. But it's just, it's a tough spot to be in, which is a very nothing thing to say. But there you go. I don't know. I don't know how to move on from that. So we'll just move backwards in time. On July 3rd, I participated in a little competition, a little American Idol-esque competition. The winner was going to get $1,000, and so I risked coronavirus so I could go perform and maybe get a bunch of money and pay for my college tuition. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I have a scholarship. Here's a clip of the video and then some nice little comments on people. I didn't win, but that's okay. 
uh, I guess I'll play it for you now, and so you can enjoy it. This song is called Extra Credit. I wrote it for a musical to perform at school when we got back from spring break, and then we didn't. So I'm gonna play it for you now. And the, all you need to know, as far as the musical standpoint in the plot, is that some students have broken into their teacher's classroom to change their grades. And I don't have a pick, so I'm playing with a key, so it's probably gonna sound weird, but it's all good. I do work at school all day, and so when I get home, I just want to put it away and leave all the work alone. But if you do act this way, you may soon regret it. So if you want to bring back up the upgrade, you might need to do some extra credit. doing more than I originally had to But it's just fine cause my life is mine and I do what I want to do Now you know what I'm gonna say cause I've already said it We all know that someday we'll all need some extra credit I do work at school all day and so when I get home I just want to put it away and leave all the work alone but if you do act this way, you may soon regret it. So if you want to bring back up your grade, you might need to do some extra credit. And that's really for a season. Yes, that's really for a season. It's okay, cause now an eight is what everyone has. And that's really for a season. And that's all we have for news. Have a good evening. The lighting is really bad.